Hi guys, I'm Jojo Astro Barbie, Fairy of Love, this is Angel, say hello! Yes, we love you! Welcome to your weekly horoscope. Well, this week the sun is in the sign of Virgo, nitty gritty perfectionist Virgo. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. Please celebrate you all month long. The moon will travel in the signs of Leo, Virgo and Libra and Scorpio. We have a new moon this week in Virgo that will help us to truly let go of the past and make a fresh start into the future. A great week in really, really to relax, sit back and to allow things to go more smoothly. We'll be able to relax, we'll be less crazy and things that really bothered us in the last four or five months will start to settle down. And if you have been walking on the side of good side of history in the light, you'll be greatly rewarded. And if you have been lost in the dark a little bit, well, you'll have an opportunity this week, my friends, to make up and to really make things right for yourself and the people you care about. We have a very, very few trines this week and a few oppositions, especially from Venus and Uranus. It means usually to sort of slow down and rethink everything about the past and how to make the future even better. And also on Sunday, Venus will enter the sign of Scorpio near Jupiter, bringing us some protection. And we have also a beautiful new moon. And that means it's a time for new beginnings, new start, and to just make peace with the past. Forgive, forget, it's, it's gone, close the door and just go into the future and make your life the way it's supposed to be. I repeat this all the time. Yes, but somebody has to repeat it and that's me because I'm a fairy of love. And Mars, planet of energy, of power, is back in second final tour in the sign of Aquarius. Remember, it's a leader, especially Mars and Aquarius. It brings progressive action, advancements in technology, breakthroughs for the people who are brave and courageous and they were patient, and also shocking turns around the political arena, governmental affairs. I mean, you know what now? <laughs> the end of the act is starting to happen. It will be quite fascinating. And this is also happening in our personal life, by the way. In a very slow matter, this, this week, we will feel what is right for us in soul. And we will start applying that in our reality, in life, finances, career, spiritually, and in love, okay? And just be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and just allow this beautiful, magical week to really sort everything out and put yourself on the path of righteousness for everything. On Thursday, well, that's the only day that's weird. It's actually one of the worst day of the year. Not really, but a little bit. It means it's not, it's very important not to sign anything important to take any decision and just so do the best you can it that day. But you will see everybody will have a feeling of doubting insecurities and the, there's a little bit of craziness in the in the energies, it means, and Mercury opposing Neptune always says, never, never sign anything important, never take a final decision, because it brings confusions between, you know, all kinds of communications between the people, personally, collectively, in the news. So before we talk, before we do anything, before we commit to anything, we better really think twice, four, five, six, ten times about it. Especially financially, do not take any risk this week. And in love, only do things for the heart because it will fire back, I promise you. Virgo, Virgo, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. We love you. The new moon in your sign and Mars entering your work sector brings success with the public and also closeness with family. You are able to really, really to be the master of your destiny and see things clearly. It's a very good week to do some deep commitments and protect your emotions. Most importantly, it's very important to work in a team with other people. On the weekend, tenderness awaits. Lucky you, your magical color. Turquoise, lucky numbers 9 and 45. Libra, the new moon in your spiritual house and Mars entering your creative center brings hope and confidence and also an artistic side that is very enhanced. Smile, life is really beautiful, so are you. And get ready for some kind of new adventure, inspiration, and good news related to work this week. Your spiritual self is very, very strong. It somehow gives you answers about what you should do about your life now and tomorrow. Go ahead and do sign up for a class, a seminar, or some treatment, or something like that that will make you feel better physically, 
emotionally or also spiritually. On the weekend, it's very good to share your dreams. Some people want to hear what you have to say. Your magical color green, lucky numbers one and ten. Scorpios, the new moon in your social house and Mars entering your home sector, bring good fortune in projects. Healing is definitely the message of this week, physically, emotionally, and even spiritually. You're very assertive, you're very smart, you're outgoing, and you're taking the bull by the horn. I love it, even this week. But try to do this more inner than outer. In career, read between the lines, investigate before you do anything. A good time also to really discover new ways of doing things and to create your life as you want it. It's all new. Take the energy of that new moon to really let go of the past and just reinvent yourself in every aspect of your life. Your magical color is fuchsia, like numbers two and 11. And on the weekend, love takes you by the hand. Lucky you. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, the new moon in your career house and Mars entering your communication sector really boosts your energy. Even though the energy of the week is slow, you definitely have confidence. You're very attractive to the opposite sex too. You could fall in love. In career, be objective in everything you do and wait for next week to sign anything important. Time is definitely on your side, but do push on your goals. Do all the nitty gritty things that you need to do. Legal matters definitely are favored. And on the weekend, you are definitely surrounded by loving friends. So have fun and good company. That's what you need, okay? Believe in miracles, believe in love. Don't give up on that. Pisces and Cancers really like you and your magical color is fuchsia, lucky numbers eight and 18. Capricorn, the new moon in your karmic house and Mars entering your financial sector make you very generous and kind, resourceful, inventive. You're very strong and very spiritual in your beliefs this week. In career, you help maybe some leadership make a bigger decision. Because of you, the world will be better somehow this week. Co-workers and partners are definitely grateful. And on the weekend, it's very important to receive, okay? It's your turn to receive. And you say, thank you. Leo and Taurus really show they care. Your magical color move, lucky numbers four and 13. Aquarius, the new moon in your shed resources house and Mars entering your sign make you shine. You are a star this week, my dear. You shine like a star and it gives you protection. You also have answers to many of your questions in career and finances. In love, be mysterious. Everything also to do with investment, ask for advice. A creative project gets a green light, probably around Friday. And children, nature bring you inspiration. A good time also to go out, to take care of your health, maybe to reach out with a doctor, a dentist, a beauty treatment, that's good for you too. On the weekend, romance is in the air. Your magical color, pink lucky numbers, seven and 41. Pisces, Pisces, my little dolphins and mermaids, we have good news for you this week. The new moon in your relationship love house really makes you sexy, romantic, sentimental, and Mars entering your spiritual house gives you wisdom. This week you have wings to fly as high as the highest star. You feel invincible. Your intuition is very much on the target, so follow it. This is a good time to really push on your projects, to promote your talents, and also expect breakthroughs. Expect miracles. The focus is on your power of accomplishing great things, strong spiritual values, and taking initiative in love. Follow your heart, it is the key to your paradise. On the weekend, love takes you by the hand. You have to say yes, because ecstasy awaits. Your magical color, red, lucky number seven and 14. Aries Aries, the new moon in your workhouse and Mars, your ruler, entering your social sector brings optimism, brilliant ideas, and peace of mind. You also can make new interesting connections in career just out of the blue. This is an ideal time to really sell and promote your talents and projects. Good news, also in finances. In love, be daring. Take the initiative. If you're a man, give and wear the pants. Take initiative. If you're a girl, hold down to your skirt, let the guy pursue you, and you give after you have received. Get it? On the weekend, get ready for tenderness and laughter. Just the way you like. Your magical color red, lucky numbers, four and 13. Taurus, the new moon in your creative house, and Mars, Entering your career house, bring you new opportunities to make more money and good ideas if you're looking for a job. It's sort of, you don't, you're not here or there, but you're getting somewhere. In social life also, you're very uh, popular, you're invited, and in romance and career, you pretty much have a life that you like. 
excellent way to really get together with like-minded friends, colleagues, or personal to exchange great ideas about how to make things even better in your personal life or financially or about a project. Married, the flame is rekindled. If you are single, you could fall in love madly with the soulmate of your life. Whatever you do, your calm attitude, your charm, your sex appeal, and your sense of justice definitely helps you win big, big, big. Wow! On the weekend, you truly enjoy your family. Your magical color green, lucky numbers 5 and 32. Gemini, the new moon in your home sector, and Mars entering your karmic house help you move forward in a very peaceful, nice, pleasant way. It boosts your energy, your confidence. You feel optimistic and eager to really make things happen, to make all the changes you've been thinking about in the last many months, since June especially. In career, you could be getting a breakthrough you didn't expect at all, but you may have to redo it again in the next few weeks. The secret of your success this week is total confidence in yourself, integrity, dreaming in really big, determination and your pure intentions. Make things right. And if something needs to be met legally, just face the music and get over it. And the more humble and honest you will be about it, the more you will coming out with flying colors. On the weekend, you have peace of mind, you receive a lots of gratitude. Your magical color blue, lucky numbers, 6 and 33. And for Cancer, the new moon in your communication house and Mars entering your shared resources sector make you charismatic, sexy, wise, determined, and extremely confident. There's a whole new flower blooming out of you, girls and guys, and you love yourself. In career, in health, you can move mountains now. Just look at the part of your dream that you want to manifest, okay? Don't get stuck with old ideas. What's new? What's exciting? What's spectacular that you want to make come true? That's what you have to think about this week. In love, push and pull experiences that you have from past and future will allow you to see more clearly what you want out of your heart and do the right thing for you and the people you love. And it's very important also to connect with a special someone that could give you a good idea to really, really be happy and in peace with yourself. And it, in the weekend, get ready to have someone to put a beautiful smile on your face. Are you ready? Well, you're always smiling, but you'll smile even, you'll smile even more on the weekend. Your magical color red, lucky numbers, seven and 21, ta-da! Leo, the new moon in your financial house and Mars, entering your relationship sector, bring popularity, lots of sex appeal, and fun activities. In career, you attract people that really share your interests and values, and that can give you a second chance, or a gift, or an idea. And for best results this week, be sweet, kind, humble in all your approach. We know you wear the, the, the crown. And somehow, it's very important to keep your thoughts positive, okay? Don't confirm the negative in any way, shape, and form. Social activities allow you to shine as well, and somehow you will have something to say to everybody you meet this week in a special way. And for best results this week, just keep smiling. On the weekend, celebrate your good fortune because the stars definitely protect you. So do it with people you love. Play lottery too, you could make, gain some, make some gains, yeah, and you could spot somebody. Your magical color gold, lucky numbers 8 and 25. And now here's your wizard affirmation of this very sort of smooth sailing kind of week, but Thursday, be careful, don't do anything important. Keep your thoughts positive and everything's gonna be fine. Loneliness is a time when God needs to have a private conversation with you. Aloneness, loneliness is always necessary when somehow you're blocked somewhere. So what happened, the universe puts the brick. It means you need to be alone. Loneliness, aloneness is when your human self gets acquainted with your true divine self. It's always beautiful. Me, I'm very, very busy, but I always make sure to keep a long time for myself, to meditate so I could give you even more love, more wisdom, more of my heart, and, and more of whatever I have to give you. Bye-bye, thank you very much for all your likes and your beautiful comments and your beautiful messages and your texts and everything. I love it, I love it, I love it. Remember, I'm the fairy of love, and it's fun to receive love too. Mm -hmm. Bye, I love you more.